Welcome to Digital Asset News. Take a top stories in crypto and break them down into bite-sized pieces. Since today, instead of talking about the news, I want to talk to you about a play to earn game that isn't three years away, isn't a year away. It's two or three weeks away. And I brought somebody in to talk about just exactly what's going on. Uh, his name is Jesse. He's one of the co-founders of Avagachi. And we're going to talk about just what is happening in the background, how this game actually works, how you can actually create and get your Avagachi, and also uh, how you can lend it out on a scholarship program while you can earn while other people are playing with your Avagachi. So Jesse, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks so much for having me on. Having me yeah. back. Yeah. yeah, man. I mean, we did, I did that, that deep dive. And it was, it was this, it's the simplest game really, but it is, there's so many levels to it that it took a while. So I'll link that in the very uh, last part of this video for, for the deep dive to Avogachi, but mm. let's just break into it and talk about just exactly what is happening here. I thought this was uh, pretty interesting when you, you know, you call me up and say, Hey man, we're, we're launching. I'm like, really, really? Yeah. When are you? Because <laughs> everybody seems to be like, uh, it'll be, you know, a while away, but this is happening. Today is March 8th, right? 2022? Yeah. And looks like this was from The Defiant, and it was just released today. And uh, Avogadro is to uh, start on March 31st. We're looking at three weeks, right? That's right. We're just, uh, we, we promised the community we'd launch in Q1, and we were not joking around. So uh, we're going to catch it at March 31st and get real live gameplay on Polygon Network with the Gachiverse uh, just a few a few weeks from now. So it's coming up a lot faster than some people anticipated. Uh, people are used to delays and things like that with game development. We've had yeah. a few of our own, but March 31, we're, we're very committed to that date and uh, we're on track. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So that is the thing because you guys haven't even launched anything yet. I mean, you've been working pretty hard in the background, but it hasn't even launched. And I think the big thing here is for people to remember that, of course, which would kind of lead me to my next point, which is like your the price for your ghost token. And again, uh, to go over all this stuff, take a look at the deep dive. But uh, it really looks to me, and we had actually talked about this before, like like there's like a step a step ladder of maybe some organic growth here. And this was, and you guys haven't been out the gate for much time. I and mean, we're talking about 2021 and April. So like roughly just a year ago. So it looks like you you peaked at a buck 50, buck 70, then a little retracement, then, then sideways. And you peaked again as people got excited. Then a little retracement, then sideways. You guys peaked again, and now there was a little retracement and sideways. And now that you're about to launch, I don't know. I'm not a, I don't have a crystal ball, but this is looking pretty good. So, right, right, yeah. It's just to to add there, maybe Coin Gecko is not documenting the entire length of the Ghost Token GHST, but yeah. um, we launched in the, it, it launched via a bonding curve fair distribution in 2020, late 20, September 2020. So ah, it's, okay, it's okay. been around um, for a good bit. And yeah, if, if oh. you uh, no. zoom out even more, you might see more. It launched at 20 cents. And um, it was with a very, very small private sale that since then, all the vesting and unlocks have long since happened. So uh, okay. it's a very, when you say organic, I think it's it's a good way to look at it. There's, um, you know, we're on Binance. We're on a lot of the major exchanges, Kraken, and uh, of course, uh, QuickSwap on Polygon. So um, yeah, it's been an organic, nice ride over the course of like a year and a half. And uh, in terms of shipping, we are always shipping product at mm -hmm. Avogadro, but we look at Avogadro as like a protocol. So we started with the intrinsic um, NFT itself and all the utility there. Yeah. But now, yeah, what you're referring to, I think, is the Gachiverse, which is the full-fledged play-to-earn metaverse that we've been working on with a team of 35 plus on Pixelcraft Studios. Uh, we've been building that out for a good minute here. And we're super excited to uh, to see it go live. Awesome. Yeah, so here's the thing. Um, I'm not a gamer. I just want it, but that's not my job as, as an investor. My job as an investor is to take a look at where things are going. And I can tell that there's a lot of gamers out there. And you guys seem to have quite the following as far as social media goes and as far as like players. And uh, so talk to me real quick. And first of all, we need to, you need to set me up with uh, an Avogadro, or you need to help me, because I am a little lost in this one. So help me figure out the Avogadro's, how to actually set that up, how to grab yeah. one. And then tell me about how many like people are actually into this process right now as far as the social media aspect. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, there's 90 some thousand followers on our Twitter. Mm -hmm. And um, our Discord, I think, is somewhere north of 20,000. 
extremely active. We like to say um, the metrics prove we are the most active DAO on okay. Polygon networks. So if you go to Snapshot, we're right up there. If you look at all the proposals, mm -hmm. Quorum, if you're into DAOs, this is a literally a community built game. So it's not just that we're on Web3 or we're incorporating NFTs. It's like we are building a metaverse where the governance has been there from day one, literally mm -hmm. from the bonding curve a year and a half ago, informing, giving feedback and commanding the dev team on what to build. It gets more decentralized every day. But yeah, there's our, our yeah. DAO governance. And so like we have so much extra brain gain from people who are literally like brain surgeons for their day job come home and are like, OK, I'm going to do some tokenomics on or, or some trait balancing for potential uh, you know, RPG style gameplay in the, in the metaverse. Right. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, if you want to get a gachi, we can do that. Um, yeah. and then maybe if people stick around, I can also reveal a bit about, um, something that would matter to your and every audience, which is even if you don't have an Avagachi, you're going to be able to play to earn in the gachi verse. And that's with a little something called gachi lending, where it's imagine Uber or your favorite sharing app, you're going to be able to just go in and with a simple polygon Matic gas fee of like 0 0.001, uh, borrow an Avagachi for however long you want, jump into the game, play to earn, explore, battle, and then hop right back out and, and take the profits with you. Oh, yeah, Perfect. that's it. That's the screenshot I, I leaked to you earlier here. So this is um, a shot of Gachi lending on the Avagachi.com website where it's not live yet. It'll go live March 31 alongside the game. You don't have Avagachi, no worries. Come here. This is a screenshot of somebody who does own an Avagachi setting up the parameters for their rental period. So yeah. you can see here, I can say, um, okay, for every hundred earned, I'm going to uh -huh. receive 50. And if you're borrowing it from me, you receive 50 of the, the tokens. So it's a, a fair split. And you can adjust those parameters and, right. um, and then play for free right up front. So That's it's going to be really cool to, you know, we're, crazy. We're kind of obsessed with increasing accessibility to NFT games and NFTs in general, because um, the last trend of the last year has been these 10K PFP NFT projects, right? And right. there's nothing wrong with that, but they're pretty obsessed with the scarcity aspect. We think there's more yeah. to NFTs than scarcity. So Yeah. Yeah, that's because I'm like, that makes sense to me because I'm like, well, I'm not going to play. I'm just, I'm not going to do it. But I know there's a lot of people out there that would like to play. And it makes sense. Just like you have like the Axie Infinity type of thing, which I got to tell you, I've, I've looked at that game and I'm like, I don't know what is entertaining about that game. What's, but that's just me. Again, I'm not a gamer. Maybe some people just love it. But I'm looking at that. I'm like, I don't get it. But here, I'm like, it, I just saw the gameplay, which was, you know, pretty, it was pretty uh, uh, cinemagraphic, I would say. But the, it looks a little bit different. But I can kind of see where, where things are going. So let's do this. Set me up with an Avogachi. Tell me All where right. to go. And, and we'll we'll go from there because yeah. maybe someone else watching is like, oh, I'll do that. All yeah, right. absolutely. So all we got to do is go to avogachi.com. Uh, yeah. okay. Cool. And this is our very recently updated uh, homepage. So maybe we stick here for just a minute and you'll notice all those Avogachis you see floating at the top. Yeah. Those are actually pulled because Avogachi visuals are literally stored on chain, unlike most NFTs. So fun fact, they're they're lightweight SVG files that are, as long as Polygon exists, these Avogachis aren't going anywhere. No servers needed. Those are all pulled individually from the smart contracts, from the blockchain. And if you cool. hit the refresh button, you would actually see a whole new, the real Avogachis that exist in the Gachiverse. Yeah. Boom. And they, they refresh and you see new ones. So it's, um, it's pulling from the blockchain there. Um, but yeah, if we just enter the app, you will... Yeah. You oh. will uh, yeah, I'll do that in a second. But Jesse, just to give people like, like a refresher, everything that's on these these Avogachi heads, you know, you got uh, Chainlink, yeah. you got Bitcoin, you got, uh, yeah, well, uh, USDC and uh, like that. Those are the things that are actually inside of the, these NFTs, and this is what you're actually staking? Is that how it works? That's right. Uh, Avogachis are one of the first NFTs that act as a piggy bank, as how I like to think of it. So you Playable literally, bank, to bring them to life, you got to put some coins inside, some tokens, and they're deposited in there. That's cool. their their spirit force. So, okay. all right, this is cool. Enter app. Let's do this. All right. So we're heading in. Mm -hmm. um, Papa, do I got to connect my wallet? Yeah. Now we got to connect wallets. So, if you I... if you've never been on Polygon before, don't worry about it. Just do your. I assume you have MetaMask or something. So browser wallet. 
I do. I don't know if you can see this as it pops up. You can't see it, but it's there. Then mass right. is going to pop up. It's going to ask you, hey, put in your spending password. One, two, three, four, five. Just kidding. And then uh, I unlock. It's going to ask me what wallet. I'm going to click next. As a C address account. Connect. Cool. And, and then when I connect, there we are. Now you're in the, the Avogadji DAP, the proper DAP. And um, you'll see a bunch of options here. The play will be where you go to pet your Avogadji, take care of your Avogadji, your wearable game items, manage all of that. What we want to do today is go to the second one, the, the cute little storefront. That's our NFT marketplace. This, the it, bazaar? Yes, the bazaar. All right. And now you're in our, our marketplace here where you can see it's conveniently uh, you know, breaking down all the different items that exist within the Avogadji metaverse. Okay. And um, these are the Avogachis that are being listed P2P marketplace by wow. our users. Yeah. And so, gotcha. And there's prices all over the place. The default is it's going to show you the most recent listings. But if you want to just buy the floor, perhaps you could go to sort. Lowest price. Yep. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Right. Ave Maria. Lucky G. Yeah, so there's some good ones there. It has all their their traits, like their their spookiness score, their aggression, their br brain size. All of these are Avogadji typical traits. You also get to name your Avogadji. It's a bit like domain squatting. You can name it, and then nobody else has it. So, um, but yeah. if you don't like the name that you see, but you like the Avogadji, you can rename it once you're the owner, so long as it's a, you know a, available. So, okay. so how do I get these? So let's say um, you want, are you a big fan of wrapped Bitcoin or Ethereum? Yeah, let's do this one. This this myth, rare eyes, 480 round numbers. So I'm going to need, let's just go for like, get like 500 ghost tokens, I'm guessing, uh, yes. just to be sure. Yep, you'll need some ghosts now. So um, I guess if we if we scroll up, we can see your ghost balance. It's currently zero, so that's fine. So okay. um, there is a get ghost page on the website, but... We could skip that step and go straight to our favorite uh, Polygon Dex, known as QuickSwap. Uh, and I think you got, yeah, okay. we were talking about it earlier. So there's yeah. the QuickSwap. And if you're willing to do a swap here, we can easily acquire some. Okay, Jesse, where am I going? All right, so we're on QuickSwap. All you need to do is click on the uh, default, which is the Matic token. You probably want to change that to whatever. Let's see your balances, if you don't mind sharing. So we got USDC, yeah. stablecoin. Oh, yeah. I got sand. You I do have sand. Do. You want to sell the sand? No, I'm joking. You can <laughs> swap the USDC. I did and get that, that for free, actually. You, I, they gave me 100 for holding land, which is pretty cool. Okay. So I got USDC, and I want to. we want Ghost, right? Yeah. Good old GHST. We dropped the O. Okay. And then let's see how much we could get. Cool. Because we got about 500, right? Yeah, that's more than enough for the, if you even just change that to up to you, but 500 ghosts will get you a floor gachi and then some. There, a thousand just to make it, just to make it easy peasy. We'll hit swap. Yep. The, da, the da, bookkeeper da, da, da. will appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> and then up comes here. So now this is, of course, you guys should be able to see this. This is, this is what's great about it. This, this is the fee 0 0.008 Matic. Oh, it's so great to use Polygon. Confirm. Mm -hmm. Confirm. We'll give it a minute. And uh, you should have enough ghost. Yeah. And if you ever want to, just like Etherscan is kind of where you track the blockchain transactions on Ethereum. Yeah. Um, the same team, the same everything has Polygon Scan. And if you click that, you would actually end up, you know, seeing the transaction live on the, the Blockchain Explorer. Oh, let me see. So that's pretty nice. Yep, already confirmed. Damn, that is fast. I mean, tch. Try doing that in Ethereum. It's the, not as easy as it uh, would appear. So yeah, so we're good. So now just to be sure, let's see, Ghost. It should be in there. Yeah, your balance should be updated, 512 Ghost. Um, yeah, we could sit here and swap fun. all day. It's so fun. But um, <laughs> it, is, it is fun. OK, so cool. So I come back here. Oh, there's, there's, there's okay. your, yeah. So we're good to go now. We could even. This is the danger. You get those ghosts up there in the window and you suddenly want to spend more of it. You're like, I think I could get better gachi. So. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I just got to scroll down until I get the one. But yeah, cool. So let's go. Same one. Yeah. Myth. Was it the rare eyes? Rare eyes. It, yeah. Those are good eyes. 
Okay. See, they, they use their their name as a place to market their, their sale. Very smart. Hey, what is this, Jesse? What is all this stuff here? This is one of my favorite things about an Avogachi. It's um, the traits that are generated on chain um, completely randomly and trustlessly using Chainlink's uh, verified random number generator. And long story short, that's a bell curve with your traits on a bell curve. So unlike most games where it's just like, you draw a mythically rare or you draw a common. And here with the, the rarity of it, you're actually, the, the, the math lines up with this bell curve you see. So if you're in the middle, you yeah. have a 50 score. A 50 score is like the most common, absolutely worst score you can have. Sorry for your, your spookiness, your very common spookiness. But the left or right, um, as you go down towards one or up towards 99, that means you're in that percentile of, of rarity. So. Gotcha. You have some really rare traits. So you may look at that and be like, ah, oh, you know, it's perfect for me. I just want to play the game. And um, and uh, that's kind of how, how it works, though. So I like how it can go in both directions instead of just Got you. linear. So, like, so is it is it the, the farther here, the more rare, or the farther here, it's more rare? That's the thing is both of those would be considered equally right. rare. Gotcha. Uh, they both are very rare in the Gachiverse. So yep. cool. Okay, so let's buy this. So approve the spend. Yep, we got to approve it first. That uh, lets the smart contract know you're okay. Okay. 0.01. It's crazy. Insanity. <laughs> yes, man. I mean, look, I mean, we've done stuff like this in Ethereum back in the day, and it was uh, super expensive. Now here we are. Okay. So do I have to approving? Do I, ah, that was great. Okay. I'll, I answer my own question. So now I have now I have this this gachi. Mm -hmm. Now, well, no, no, no. You approved the right to buy it. You approved ah, okay. uh, interacting with our smart contract. So now we better buy it. Okay. And um, this is a, a, a security thing here because we have a lot of NFTs connected to NFTs. So it's asking you, does this one have any wearables equipped? And just make sure you know what you're buying. So the right mm -hmm. answer is zero. This is what we call a Nike gachi. Okay. So <laughs> uh, confirm number of items. We're just going to put zero. Zero. It says, yep, you're right. Go ahead and buy it. And we had a we had a few incidents early on where somebody fat fingered like, you know, a very expensive gachi that was the wrong one. Yeah. So gotcha. And then here's some more gas fees. But I will remind everybody. I mean, sometimes in like some of those DEXs, you have to do approval and approval and approval, and it'll kill you. Before you know it, you're like, wow, 16 bucks here, 32 bucks there. Yeah. All right. Share your new purchase. That's awesome. Yeah, you want to tweet about it? <laughs> so it work. Let me see. Yeah. Hey, friends. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Boom. Let me that out. Awesome. Yeah, in between all of my uh, all my Ukraine stuff that's coming up. Cool. Yeah. Same as everybody. Yeah. So cool. so then if you go back to maybe just the homepage, I'll show you how you can visit your Avogachi. So if you go okay. to Ava, the the just the logo in the upper right. Yeah. Okay, we're back at the homepage. You're like, I miss my Avogachi. I want to interact with it. Go to play. Okay. And um, you have an Avogachi, so you'll click on My Avogachi's top center. There All he right. is. And you, you go ahead and click on him, say hello. And this is your main dashboard to actually, you know, interact and hang out with your Gachi. You can pet it. That increases the kinship score. And that's going to matter more than ever soon because the higher the kinship score, the it's going to perform better in some way in the, in the Gachiverse. It's going to earn more for you if it's a happy Avogachi. And what are we earning here? So that that's that's another thing. Yeah. So once we currently you're earning ghost tokens through something called rarity farming. If you take care of your Avogachi, you pet it, you climb a leaderboard. Like your okay. score on this one you purchased is 183. It's kinship. You can see in the upper right in the purple. Yeah. So it's de it's devoted. It's devoted to the owner. You'll climb the leaderboard and you'll earn ghost tokens. But when the Gachiverse goes live, there's four new tokens introduced that you're running around picking up kind of Pac-Man style. But there's a, another gameplay mode where you just pray at the altar, do a little rain dance. If your kinship score is high enough, you'll you'll farm more by channeling it that way. If yeah. you have, yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not doing it. I'm not. Okay. I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> and this is this is great for people. But this is why I had Jesse on to explain this part right here. This is what I'll be doing. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Real, so I'm sorry. Real quick, uh, there was another party. I'll get to that. When you're talking about the things that you actually get, was it this is what you're talking about, right? That's what I'm talking about. The four okay. new tokens, FUD, FOMO, Alpha, and Keck. Okay. And they all have very interesting tokenomics, different token supplies, 
and they're distributed over a 30 year token distribution schedule, wow. all hard coded in the smart contracts. So right now our community is, and they had a big influence on this, by the way, the DAO is actually, like I said, there's brain surgeons working on this with us. Mm. Um, and so it's a back and forth between the dev team and them. And um, yeah, we've come up with uh, some very interesting tokenomics that I don't think have been seen anywhere else. I, I, I think it's some of the most innovative stuff you'll see. I'm a bit biased, but um, so the community wants something built for longevity. And yeah. um, so there's it's a very fair distribution. There's no pre-mine. The only way to get these tokens is to hop in on March 31st and start farming them, hunting them, or praying for them. And, and I get it if you don't want to pray for them, but uh, <laughs> that's the three ways. <laughs> Bro, I, I I will tell you what I will do and I'll tell you what I won't do. I'll tell you what I don't know. And I'm like, I don't, I'm not going to do it. But this right. was, again, just, just to reiterate, three ways to earn those. Uh, Alchemica farming, exploring, playing the games, channeling, praying, those type of things, right? Yep, that's the three big ones. It's kind of like okay. farming is like Clash of Clans style. You're actually crafting harvesters and farm equipment that will extract it from your land parcel. Exploring okay. is basically the most casual way you're you're literally pac-man running around battling and racing to a big easter egg hunt okay and then channeling is what i said you once a day you can go and if your kinship is up you've taken care of your gachi it will be able to channel uh and and multiplier effects come in as you take better care of your abogachi awesome. the reason i should say the reason you want to do all of this isn't just to get token but there needs to be utility right right so the the whole point of this is um you go back to the farming and the equipment you want to craft. And so if you've ever played Minecraft or Clash mm -hmm. of Clans, there's a crafting element and you're going to want to go into the crafting table and um, insert the right balances of each Alchemica token. You get that right. And then there's a long list of rare NFTs that you don't just mint these NFTs. You actually craft these NFTs. And, uh -huh. and some of them are limited edition. If you're the first to craft it, you got it. If if you didn't, you didn't. Others are unlimited supply, that kind of okay. thing. So there's that, a lot of reasons to get these. That is that is pretty cool. I can see, I can see where why people are going to want to play this game, especially with it coming out so quickly. And I got to tell you, I mean, some of these games I see, and I'm like, I like even if I was a gamer, I'm like, I wouldn't play that. But I get, I get the allure a little bit of what it is, and I, I wish you guys all the best. And also. Well, first of all, did we miss anything? Anything else that I we should be talking about that I just totally forgot? Um, that's, that's, the, maybe, that's a lot of stuff we went over. I think the last thing we should do, if you don't mind, is name your Avagachi because ah, it's right. currently registered for you know for sale. But its name is Myth Rare Eyes, which isn't bad. But I want to show you if you go <laughs> to um, there's the more button at the very bottom uh, on the right side. More. I just want to show you some things you can do with your Avagachi. Cool. You can you can gift it to somebody if you don't want to take care nope. of it anymore. Yeah. If you're really having a bad day, you can sacrifice it and this will burn burn the NFT. Go ahead and click on it. You'll see the fire pop up as a warning. Ah, okay. It, it, it gets heavy there. Um, Return so your collateral. Okay. That's how you get your collateral out, all those uh, wrapped Bitcoin. And, um, yeah. and then um, if you want to know how many wrapped Bitcoin are inside it, you check the spirit force. So there's some data there. Uh, maybe Where we have was... to get off. Get off of uh, more if we can go back. So, yeah, you can see the age of your gachi, the kinship, and oh, your spirit force is 0. 0.000212 wrapped Bitcoin. It's oh, okay. Ave, right it's Ave wrapped Bitcoin, so it's actually increasing in total supply slowly over time. It has an interest rate, and it's actually a growing amount of Bitcoin. That's a playable piggy bank. Gotcha. Yes, yes sir. That's and what then, it is. Uh, I found the rename button. It's a small screen for me here, but yeah, if you click on the, oh, fourth, the rename. Yeah, yeah, this will be on chain. So it's a transaction, but you can name it anything you want as long as it's not taken. So Dan. I, I bet that's taken because you know, our co-founder's name is Dan, but let's oh, see. Well, what well, why did I did D dot a dot M let's see, but he's, he usually goes by coder Dan. So let's see what happens. D dot a dot N it might work. I'm actually not sure if periods work. We'll find out. I think no, it I couldn't do it. Watch this. We'll rename it. We'll do this. Let's do something really bizarre, like, or or like the name of your your channel, right? D -news. D yeah, Dinus. There we go. Do this again. Then, thank, then thank, I got to tell you, hey man, good thing you guys do this on 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 Matic because if this was on Ethereum, this this would never work. 
Absolutely. Yeah, this is uh, made for layer two. We are, we, we knew layer two was coming over this last year and a half. It was kind of like we are just early enough to, to be able to benefit from that because otherwise these features could have never worked. There we go. Oh, yeah. oh, oh it actually hey. worked. Cool. Oh, it, just, it just took a minute. There you go. I'll take yeah. Dan. Dan or D News doesn't matter. People know what's going on. Okay. So it. great. So anything else that we got to go over? Because that's a, that's a pretty good amount there. Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, always a pleasure to speak with you. And I hope I see you in the Gachiverse just a few weeks from now. Yeah. Oh, and then one more thing. Uh, talk to us real quick about, did you guys, there's a, because I'm friends with the guys from, from Gensu Kishi. I did a deep dive into their, their project. They reached out. I like that one because they already had a project or like a working game on yeah. uh, Android, iOS, PlayStation, and uh, a Nintendo Switch. I thought it was yeah. cool that they actually bring it out to play around. But now you guys are partnering up what's going on yeah it's so awesome they they are um big fans of avogachi we're big fans of them and so it just shocker shocker game recognized game so yeah <laughs> <laughs> so we're very excited to partner with them and we're working very hands-on with them to get some 3d versions of our avogachis into their world so yet another cross-platform uh use case so super excited in fact um, I'll be doing an AMA with them uh, in their Discord later today. I don't know if that'll, you know, everyone's welcome to join that. And then, um, yeah, we'll be doing a lot of stuff with them. Like, they're, they're doing great work over there. Awesome. All right. I'm glad you guys got together. All right, man. Well, that is it. So, everybody, I'm going to leave uh, links in the description. Jesse, thanks for coming on. We really appreciate it. And uh, that is it for today. Like today's video. Give a thumbs up. Subscribe. All that good stuff. Jesse, thanks so much. Thank you.